What are the fall of man and original sin? Everyone knows the story about the tree and the apples at the beginning of the Bible, but what's it all about? It is not about apples or pears or any other fruit. It's about this. Man is a creature gifted with reason and will. He is created to participate in the divine life. He can know God as his creator and his goal, and he can respond to God's love with his own. But he doesn't. Man reckons that man is awesome, so awesome, in fact, that he couldn't care less about God and his commands. Man doesn't order his life towards God, but declares himself the center of the universe. Sounds exciting, but really, it's not good. Man is not the source and end of all things. He is not the center of the universe. Things are not ordered as he sees fit. Imagine the following. If I put a tomato plant in a closet for three months and firmly declare that it will be great for the plant, I still won't get any tomatoes. The nature of a tomato plant requires, among other things, light, water, and heat. What I want doesn't really matter. So when man tries to place himself at the center of all things, it's not going to work. Not for him, not for anything else. By wanting to be like God and setting himself up in God's place, he destroys the order between himself and God and the order between himself and the rest of creation. And this is what happened at the beginning of the human race. It's called the fall of man or original sin. The fall has bitter consequences for humanity. First, man loses his friendship with God. He loses what we call sanctifying grace. Second, he is afflicted with a series of physical evils. Instead of crossing over peacefully into the afterlife, there's death, tearing body and soul apart. Man is also afflicted by pain and has to battle the disorder of his own powers within him. These consequences are painful, but they're not retaliation or the vengeance of God. Indeed, they are the very first step of God towards fallen man. In experiencing his own frailty, fallen man can begin to realize that he's on the wrong path, that he's not the center of the universe, that things do not all revolve around him. And this is a good thing to realize. He can begin to understand that as a created being, he is ordered to his creator, that the isolation in his inner self is painful and destructive. Man has to recognize this and turn back to God. The consequences of the fall of man can be felt even today. When we enter this world, we lack sanctifying grace. We experience the disorder in our soul and emotions, and our mortality, the fact that our death is coming someday, weighs heavily on us. This state that we are born in is called the state of original sin. Original sin is not the same as personal guilt, but it describes the condition of fallen mankind that we inherit. That is what the fall and original sin are. The fall happened at the beginning of mankind. The state of original sin is its consequence.